In the dark of a cave, in the depths of the sea Hang a hundred thousand eggs and they're all just like me And our mother sits below us as she wavers and she wanes In her act of sacrifice, she bears all the world's pain Made it with a male who placed a spermatophore into a mantle cavity. His job was little more, like her, he was destined to die. Though he would mate with more than one, and his genes would carry on, though he'd never meet his son. Both parents were five years old, the standard length of time. These problem-solving cephalopods lead their solitary lives, reach a weight of 70 pounds, just grooving in the great big bath. That's six-tenths of an ounce a day. Yeah, I did the math. And they can also smell everything that they touch and an unwary crab who ends up in the clutch of this nocturnal hunter this master of disguise will have the beak of an octopus as the last thing that meets his eyes In a way we're all terminal breeders, born to give birth and die. But enter octopus for an eye, uses a method you should not try. And it's a serious situation, down here in our cave. It's getting difficult to predict how our mother will behave. She started off so devoted, spending every minute of the day. Fanning water over us and cleaning out decay But after six months of this, her energy's running out And her brain and her body, she'll soon have to do without and She wanders off in the daytime, in front of God and everyone We're not sure, but we think she's become attracted to the sun She's attracted to the sun We're ready to hatch now Into our vast watery world Our little eggy coverings Are about to be unfurled Revealing tiny replicas Of our parents' amazing form With our suckers and chromatophores We explode like a storm